subscribe to RA Solutions by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello there, welcome to another video by RA Solutions. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you a quick video on how to use Microsoft Forms. Um, where you can create quizzes and forms for people to fill in and get results and responses from them. So first and foremost, I'm in Google Chrome at the moment. So what I'm going to do a search for is Microsoft Forms. And in here, I've already got a subscription to Microsoft Forms. So obviously I've paid through it through my company. Um, so obviously if you want to use it, you can do. So if you click on the ellipses here at the top, uh, or the waffle, the top left hand corner, up launch it. There's lots of different things you can do. Um, but what we're going to focus on today is Microsoft Forms, which is here now. Um, so obviously there's three options. My Forms shared with me. So other people who've done Forms, you can obviously they can share their Forms with me and group Forms. So if you're part of a group, um, you've got access to a specific Form there. So the one I'm going to focus on is My Forms. And in there, there's two options, New Form and New Quiz. Ignore this one here. That's something I've been working on in my own time. So the one I'm going to show you today is New Form here on the left side. So if I click on New Form, it will take you to the design um, screen of the new form. You can give a form a name. So this is my RA Solutions test form. And in the description part, I can put something in. So I'll put in the RA Solutions test form to let people complete this. And in here, you've got a button where you can add new questions. So you can do a choice um, if you want them to fill in some text, or if you want them to give a rating or a date. And an arrow, you can choose other things as well here. So what, the one I'm going to focus on for my first question is choice. So click on choice, it will come up with a question. So my first question is going to probably be something along the lines of who is, oops, is your favorite youtuber question mark so my first option might be RA solutions second option somebody else second question could be so you can also add another option here if you want to type in other and um, or you can just click on here add other option you can ask for multiple answers you can also ask for if you want that question to have a required answer there. Um, so if you scroll down, let's just choose another one, add new again. This time I'm going to choose rating. Um, so I want the user to rate um, this specific question. So um, let's choose how would you rate this questionnaire? Five being the highest. Uh, you can change the levels by the way you can make it go up to 10 I think yeah it can change up to t you know change it make it lower make it higher and you can change the symbol that it shows you can have it showing numbers or have it showing stars so I'll leave it as stars so there you go then once you've ha once you're happy with this um, <clears throat> you can share this and um, before we share this I just wanted to show you the responses section here once somebody's filled it in you can see who's responded, um, how long it's taken them to respond, so on and so forth. And you can click on here to view results and you can export it as an Excel file here. Let's go back to the questions tab. And um, at the top right hand corner, you can preview your form like this. So that's what your form will look like. Let me click on the back button here. But before I do so, um, there's another option here at the top right. That's what the form will look like if you are displaying that on a computer. And if I click on the mobile, and that's what your form will look like when you display that form on a mobile phone. So let's get, click on computer again, let's click on back and this time let's choose the theme. Let's change the theme. Click on the theme, you can have different themes for your form. So at the moment the form is a standard green colour. I can change it to a different green colour maybe. Go through the different options there. 
you, you, I think you get the picture of what I'm trying to show you here and you can even add your own themes you can customize your own theme there which I'm not going to show you in this video if I click on the ellipsis you can change the settings the language and obviously give feedback to Microsoft but let's share this form let's see this form in action now in this one uh, it will give you the option to send and collect responses so if I copy that link and open up a new tab let's pretend I'm a user this time right click and paste the link in there it will open up my form so this is my design of my form this is what the form will look like if you send it by email to somebody to fill in so who's your favorite youtuber let's choose RA solutions um, how would you rate this question if I being the highest let's give it a five let's cl click on submit now and uh, there you go the response was submitted okay you can see that now let's go back to the other tab and let's have a look at the responses bit now the responses I've got one response back which you can see here let's click on that and there you go look one response 17 seconds to complete active and there you go and it shows you what answers that person gave um, so you can also view the results there so um, that's a very quick video showing you how to quickly create a Microsoft form um, very useful very powerful to get quick feedback from people um, about I don't know anything you want any specific thing um, any pro project you're doing any task you're doing or any feedback you want or if it, there's a future project you want people to do um, it's very powerful and if there's a quiz you want them to do you can get them to do a quiz as well I hope this was useful this was just a nutshell really um, but hopefully in my future videos I'll probably go into more detail depending on the feedback I get from you guys uh, before I go, please like, subscribe and share.